Christmas. Welcome back to my channel. It is officially after Thanksgiving, which means I'm allowed to start decorating for Christmas and I am clearly very ready for it. My romper kind of makes me look like a Christmas tree. It's cool, just go with it. Anyways, today's video is gonna help you get into the holiday spirit of giving. I'm teaming up with my friend Ashley Dawn to give you a hundred Christmas gift ideas for this year. On my channel, I'm gonna be giving you guys 50 ideas for your dad, your brother, your sister, your friends, and then just some like funny gag gifts that you can give to people who like get your sense of humor. And you can find the other 50 gift ideas on Ashley's channel, so make sure to head over there after you watch this one. Her video are seriously so amazing. Hi CR subscribers, I'm Ashley and I make beauty, fashion, and lifestyle videos here on YouTube. So I know during the holidays, shopping can be super stressful. Don't worry, you're not the only one that's stressed out. So on my channel, I'm gonna be showing you guys 50 ideas for your mom, your boyfriend, and also your friend. If you guys would love to see that video, it will be on the screen right now and also down below in the description. You guys should definitely come over to my channel and subscribe if you guys have not already. We are awesome and we upload videos all the time. I'm so excited to see Sierra's video. I'm sure it's gonna be amazing and I'm so glad that we got to do this collaboration with each other. So I hope you guys enjoy Sierra's video. And if you came from Ashley's channel or this is your first time seeing my face and my background before, then hi, my name is Sierra. I make new videos on YouTube every Tuesday and Friday. I have so many holiday videos coming up, including a huge Christmas giveaway with a GoPro and an iPad. So make sure that you are subscribed so that you can see those videos, enter those giveaways, and just have a Merry Christmas with me and the Schultzy Squad. All right, now let's go ahead and get into 50 gift ideas for Christmas 2016. All right, so let's start off with some Christmas gift ideas ideas for your dad. The first thing, one of the things that I almost always get my dad for Christmas is a pair of slippers. That is such a typical dad gift. It's something that they'll wear every day and you can help them be just a little bit more cozy and relaxed from all of the turmoil that you cause them. If your dad is more on the sentimental side or you're just really poor, give them a coupon book. Just get a few pieces of paper and make them little coupons. Even if you're like five years old or you're like 30, these always come across really, really well. It's so cute. Another cute thing to get your dad is just a framed picture of you two together. Again, if your dad's sentimental, get one of when you were a little kid. It'll make him cry. He'll be like, oh my gosh, you're so old. And it's like the best gift ever. You win Christmas. You could also get your dad a watch or if they're a little bit more active, a sports watch. It's something that they'll use a lot and think of you. And it's just a really nice gift. Another fun dad gift and something that you can do together only if you're 21 and over is a beer brewing kit. He will have so much fun learning how to brew his own beer and make his own flavors. It is a lot of fun and it's kind of like an activity and a gift. Get your dad a new poker set with a bunch of new chips and cards. It'll be so much fun to break out when your family's there or just for a night with his friends. My next gift idea is to get your dad a tracker for his keys or his wallet. I got myself one of them a while ago and it has literally been the best thing I ever did because I pretty much lose my keys like every 30 seconds. Hashtag not sponsored, but it really should be because I'm kind of obsessed with these. If your dad has a corporate job or he has to dress up all the time, get him a new tie. You could also go a little bit on the more gag gift side and get him a really funny tie. You could also go for a car detailing kit if his car is your dad's baby. This will mean a lot to him. And the 10th and final gift idea for your dad is to get a funny or cute welcome mat for the house or for the backyard. It'll be something that he'll see every day and just help him laugh a little bit more. Moving on to category number two. These are gift ideas for your brothers, your male friends, maybe your cousins, nephews, anything like that. Pretty much any like young guy in your life, these gifts are for them. The first idea is a sock subscription. I am a big fan of subscriptions because it's the gift that keeps on giving. You get something every month. My little brother got a sock subscription for last year's Christmas and he was so excited every month in the mail when his new socks would come. Next thing is some really classy, always cute superhero cufflinks. I saw these ones on Etsy. I thought they were adorable. It's a cute way to put a little bit of his nerdy side into his like stylish clothes. I feel like all boys, maybe not all boys, but a lot of boys lack a nice pair of shoes. Get them a nice pair of shoes, not like dress shoes, but like Sperry's or boat shoes or something that they can wear with dressier outfits instead of wearing like tattered up vans. This one I think is is so much fun. They sell an old style controller on Amazon that you can connect to an iPad so you can have an actual like joystick and like, is it joystick? 
Jaw stick? Someone let me know down in the comments. I'm lost on that word. But the little stick thingy. They have one of those so that you can play old style games the way they're meant to be played, but on their iPad. It was pretty inexpensive. I think it was only like $30. And it is such a fun thing that you can do together and kind of like reminisce about the olden days. Oh, the 90s. I was literally like four when the 90s ended, but like I'm just gonna pretend like I'm a 90s kid. Just like let it happen. It's cool. If your brother's into old style music or has a little bit more of an eclectic taste, get him a record player and get him some of his favorite records on vinyl too. It'll be a really fun thing for him to use throughout the year. If your brother's really active and loves to get out and do stuff, get him something he can use like a boogie board or a sled or a snowboard. This one you could DIY if you like to try and make your own gifts. The world's okayest brother mug. I feel like this speaks to like every sibling relationship and it is so funny and cute and you could probably make it for like five bucks. Another thing that I think a lot of guys, especially like teenage boys lack is a nice wallet. If you get them a nice wallet, they'll use it every day, they'll think of you and it'll just make their life a little bit easier. I feel like every person in the world has a change jar somewhere in their life, whether it's their car, their backpack, a drawer. Everyone has just like a sinkhole of change somewhere in their life. Get your brother a counting piggy bank where he can put all of his change in at the end of the day and it'll let him know how much money he has. And my 10th and final gift idea for brothers, cousins, male friends, all that kind of stuff, Get them a button down shirt. Guys have so many uses for these, either if it's long sleeve or short sleeve. It's really nice to have some like dressy casual things in your wardrobe and they will definitely use it a lot. Moving on to the third category. This is like the opposite of what we just did. We're gonna do with sisters, female cousins, girlfriends, all that kind of stuff. If your sister is like me and takes a lot of pictures and never remembers to print them out, Get them an iPhone print case. You can hook this up to your phone and print pictures right from your phone. It is really, really fun and easy to use. I'm definitely putting this on my list this year. If your girl is super into her phone and it is like perpetually dead, get her a ChargeTech external battery. This thing is insane. Not only does it have two USB ports to charge devices, it literally has like a three prong outlet. This is intense. This is also really great if you have someone that travels a lot because this can pretty much power anything. Like it could power an Xbox, a blend, a whole laptop computer, literally anything. So it's really great for someone who's always on the go. I will link their website and their campaign down in the description if you wanna check it out. They sent this to me and I have been having so much fun with it. So thanks Charge Deck. The next idea is to give them a little bit more of an experience that you guys can do together. Get them a voucher for your favorite spa or just get a bunch of spa products and bring them home and give them like a little coupon that says like one spa day. You guys can get together and do your nails, get your hair done, have a little spa day. It'll be a really fun day together and it's a really cute gift. All all right, so I know I said I was gonna try not to do cliche stuff, but this one is a little bit cliche, a Polaroid camera. I have one of these, it is really fun to use, and it's a cute gift to give to someone if you're willing to spend a little bit more, because they can be kind of pricey. A cute gift idea that I have seen floating around the internet a lot in the past few months is a mermaid tail blanket. I think these are so cute, they look so cozy. I don't have one yet, but if someone gave it to me, I would be like so stoked on life. I think those are adorable. The next gift is a pair of fold up flats that they can put in their purse. I feel like girls don't realize how uncomfortable their heels are gonna be until it's like an hour and their feet are bleeding and they just wanna go home and they're running around without their shoes on. A little pair of fold up flats like these will come in handy so much they can just throw them in their purse and call it a day. So if it is your sister that these gifts are for, I think it's really cute to get sibling shirts like these ones. If you have three siblings or if you have two, I'm sure there's a bunch of cute ideas out there. You can also give them makeup. Makeup is a really great gift because it's something that they will probably continue to use for like years. I would probably stay away from getting them foundation or blush or something that needs to match their skin tone, but anything like a lip color or eyeshadow or mascara, anything like that is a great gift. Another DIY gift for my DIY savvy girls out there, go to Michael's and get a big block letter of the first letter of their name and then put some Mod Podge on it and put a bunch of pictures of you guys together over it. It'll make a really cute piece of room decor and it's just like a really cute like sentimental gift. And the last one, gift number 10 for your girlfriends out there, get them a pair of headphones. You can never have too many pairs of headphones. I feel like I'm always losing them. And you can get some that are more expensive or some that are on the cheaper side, just depending on what your budget is. It's pretty flexible. Moving on to category number four, my personal favorite category. This is where pretty much all of the gifts that I give come from, and that is nerd slash gag gifts. If you've got a girl in your life who loves makeup equally as much as they love Harry Potter, much like me, get them this set of Harry Potter makeup brushes. These are so cute and it's a really cute way to show them that like you get them. You you know what they're into. If you've got a Star Wars nerd in your life, get them these Death Star ice molds. These will help them show their love for the Empire and keep their drinks cold. A 
Millennium Falcon Bluetooth speaker. I saw this on Amazon. It took a lot of self-control not to buy it. Is your friend single and perpetually lonely? Get them the boyfriend pillow. It's a great way to get all the benefits of a boyfriend without having to have all the annoying stuff. My DIY gift for this category is to make your friend or family member a personalized guess who game. All you have to do is make your little board and then take some pictures of your family or your friends and put them in the little slots and then you can play about people you know or people in your friend group. Moving back to Harry Potter, I personally love coloring books. I think they are so much fun. Get them a Harry Potter coloring book set that can color their favorite scenes from Harry Potter. If your friend is a little bit too in love with their pet, kind of like I am with my dogs, get them a personalized shirt with a giant picture of their cat or dog on it. It will instantly become their their favorite shirt ever and it is so funny and it's just a really cute thoughtful gift. You can also DIY your own with some transfer paper and a white t-shirt or you can just get one printed online. If you're worried about your friend getting lost on their midnight trip to the bathroom, get them a light up toilet bowl light. I saw this thing on Shark Tank and I thought it was hilarious. If you wanna give them something that will most likely be recycled into a white elephant gift exchange the next Christmas, get them a hilarious as seen on TV product. There are some crazy ones out there and you can just kind of like make their day with the ridiculous things that you find. And my 10th idea for a gag gift is to just get them a funny t-shirt. You can get them one for a fandom that they're a part of, for a movie that they like, or just with something hilarious on it. Go crazy. All right, we are on the home stretch, the fifth category. These are gifts for people that maybe you're not as close with, the ones that are usually pretty hard to shop for, like a boss, a coworker, maybe in-laws, maybe an aunt, someone like that who you are so lost on what to get them. Number one, get them a board game. Board games are so much fun because it's something they'll end up using a lot. It's really sweet and personal. Maybe hold off on giving them Cards Against Humanity if it's your boss. I mean, I don't know your job. Maybe it's a good idea, but you know, try it with caution. If they're married or in a relationship, get them a little picnic set. You can put a little basket, maybe your favorite bottle of wine, a little picnic blanket. It's a really cute and thoughtful way to give them something that means a lot and that they'll actually use. Staying on that same little like relationship date night spectrum, get them a little date night kit. You can put in a gift card to a restaurant, you could put in like a bag of popcorn, a movie, anything like that. Just something to show them that you're gonna give them a night out. You could also get them a little award night box if they're into like the Oscars or the Tonys or any award night like that. So if you're leaning towards getting them a Starbucks gift card, stop in your tracks and instead get them the Starbucks holiday cup. I'm not sure if they're still doing this, but a few weeks ago they were selling a cup for like $30 that got free refills every single day for the entire month of January. If you've got a bunch of people at your office or your school and you wanna give them each a gift but don't wanna spend too much money, make them each a little DIY mug like this one and you can put in some hot cocoa or some candy canes. It's really cute and you can DIY it so it'll be pretty cheap. One of the most thoughtful and cheap things that you can give is to just give someone something that you love in hopes that they'll love it. Give them your favorite book, your favorite album, your favorite movie. It'll also give you a little bit more of a talking point, something to bond over if they get into it too. I honestly think it's one of the most thoughtful things you can do because there's something really special about sharing something that you love with someone else. Back on the basic train, candles, bath scrubs, all that kind of stuff. If you've visited their house or their apartment before, get them some decor or throw pillows that match the stuff that they already have. It's a really cute way to show them that you get their tastes and it's something that they'll be able to look at every day. The last gift, 50 gifts. We are almost there. A really cute and sweet thing to give them is a little plant or a flower, but don't give them something that they have to water all the time because that's basically like giving them like a little fish or something that they have to be responsible for. Get them a little succulent or a little cactus. It's really cute. It makes a cute piece of decor and it's a living plant, which is always nice to have in your house. All right, that is 50 gift ideas for Christmas 2016. Now that you've finished this one, make sure to head on over to Ashley's channel and watch her video, get the other 50. And like I said, this is only the beginning of my holiday series. I have so many things coming up, some Christmas videos, a huge giveaway. So make sure that you are subscribed so you can stay up to date on all of that stuff. All right, I feel like I've been talking for like an hour, so that's enough outro. I love you guys all so, so much. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got for Black Friday. So I got some clothes and accessories and handbags for myself and then I also was given some early Christmas money to go buy a present for me but from someone else and then the third thing is I actually got a present for you guys too. So yes this video does have a giveaway in it which I am so excited about. Seriously the Black Friday deals were ridiculous this year. I felt like I needed to share the wealth so I got you guys a little something from Michael Kors. So if you want to find out how to win this just hang around till the end of the video.